Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, 20 September, uh, these dates are ticking down so beautifully. I, I literally, we, we're at that point now, me and a lot of watchmen and brothers and sisters out there, we're all feeling there isn't enough time in the day to get out everything we still need to get out in the time that's left because the Lord is so close. I'm listening for shofar sounds, horse hoofs in the sky, crazy things really uh sounds by the graveyard if i drive past it of exploding dirt uh and this article specifically just really i've mentioned it on the channel in the community wall but i'd like to just drill into it and give you more detail in case you don't have access to those channels on the 19th pope francis and mohammed bin zayed have now instituted chris lum as the official one world religion at every level and I'm going to put their new symbol on the video picture when you see this video. It, it, it's disturbing. Pope Francis and Mohammed bin Zayed have now instituted Chrislam as the official one world religion at every level. The human fraternity document created by Pope Francis and Mohammed bin Zayed have been confirmed by the United Nations and by the assembled councils of the world's religious leaders. Welcome to the one world religion of Chrislam. The world religious leaders on Thursday formally adopted the human fraternity document signed by His Eminence, the Grand Imam Al-Azhar and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, Dr. Ahmed al tayeb and His Holiness Pope Francis of the Catholic Church in Abu Dhabi in 2019. This came during the 7th Congress of Leaders of the World and Traditional Religions, which concluded last week. What does all that mean? It means that Chrislam started by Vatican Evangelist Rick going all the way back to 2003 has confirmed and completed. In Revelation 13 verse 6, he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle and all that dwell in heaven. It continues to say that they have all affirmed this. And then if you look at the fact that Mohammed bin Zayed, who is the co-signer on this whole situation and movement, is very tightly interwoven with Jared Kushner, Emmanuel Macron and the Abraham Accords as well. And he even went on the birthday anniversary of the Abraham Accords to Israel to be part of that. So he's linked to both the one world religion that's rising and the Abraham Accords. Wouldn't that be the perfect setup for an antichrist? To step out of the shadows, combine them together and bring them all into one strengthened agreement. Everything is set up for the end. Not the end seven years from now in the next next Shemitah cycle. The end now. Seven years from now, honestly, even if I wasn't a Christian or a believer, I don't think mankind would be around the way we're destroying each other and ending ourselves. The, the, the levels of crazy are beyond what the most imaginative author can come up with. I, I mean, I write fiction to relax and I couldn't come up with half the things that they're just doing. It is mad out there because it is mad without Jesus. And here, this whole situation with the one world religion, I've got to tell you, and I'm just going to say it, my number one candidate for the false prophet, the guy that's going to be number two in this whole setup in the final week, is Pope Francis. And they've played a lot of, you know, he's sick, he's going to retire, he's going to everything. But you know what, even the Catholics have got prophecies that he is the last Pope, the absolute last one. And I'm sorry, he ticks all the boxes. I can go into this in detail in a different video for you, but yes. He ticks all the boxes for me. So, and he's perfectly positioned and doing what he just did now, just again, just ticks all the boxes for me. So keep watching, keep listening, keep your heads up and encourage one another at all times. We're almost home. God bless. Shalom.